right, man. Apparently now we blaming Al Heyman um, for uh, if Errol Spence loses the fight to um, Terrence Crawford. Now, I'm not going to say the guy's name. Uh, Lavish put a, a, an interview in the uh, Discord. You want to join the Discord? Join one of the tiers of the uh uh, join my membership, or you can uh, cash app or Venmo or PayPal, $5 cash app, dollar sign CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. All right, so you can always do that. So that's always appreciated if you want to, um, you know, you want to join, uh, you know, the Discord. We got a nice group of guys in there, not too much. Um, if you don't know what the Discord is, it's basically a private chat. We don't do that screenshotting, weak shit and all that. We don't do all that, all right, dude. We, we have good conversations. We have disagreements. You really don't go that far. Uh, we all grown men in there, all right? So, nonetheless, um, so somebody made a video saying basically that it's Al Heyman's fault that and I'm going to have a video coming up probably this weekend or Monday or something like that. It depends on uh, it depends on when I drop it. It could storm Monday. I mean, Sunday, so I'll try to get some stuff pre-done just in case the power go out. I still ain't bought another laptop. You're lazy and shit. But, um, but nonetheless, um, Yeah, nonetheless, bro. Uh, nonetheless, uh, basically, the guy said that you know, as a, he, he can't see Tanner Crawford beating Errol Spence, the only way he can see Tanner Crawford defeat Errol Spence is because of a sixteen month layoff that Al Heyman has um, has bestowed upon him. Because he tried to force him to fight Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you sign you sign those contracts. And we and we would, I mean, we could know by visual, but it's a Floyd Schofield father confirmed that in those contracts, there's no guarantee that the PBC owes you a fight um in a calendar year. So basically, that's how Al can control you. Okay, you don't want to fight. Um, you don't want to fight. You know, we off you this day. You don't want to fight. Okay, we'll wait another year, hold you out, and then you know bring you back. And you know, I bet you want to fight then, because then you're gonna need these advances. You know, you're gonna need these advances from me. All right, you're gonna need these advances from me. And Errol Spence said time and time again, he made this fight happen. But you would never go against Al Heyman. You trusted Al Heyman. So that is at our fault. It's always going to be something to discredit um, Terrence Crawford. Now, Errol Spence did say that you know, after a 10 to 8 to 10 week or 10 to 8 week training camp, 8 to 10, excuse me, he said that, you know, what did he go ahead and say? He said that. If he ain't ready by then, then he'll never be ready. So he said Russ wasn't going to be a thing. When he came off a car accident and came back and beat Danny Garcia, he said, you know, like Jermaine Dupree, and money ain't a thing. He said, and Jay-Z, it ain't a thing. So if he a man of his word, the, the, the Russ shouldn't be a problem. Because then again, y'all sat there and y'all criticized Terrence Crawford, right? Y'all sat there and y'all y'all criticized Terrence Crawford for going out there and um for going out there and fighting David Avenesian and picking up his money. And y'all sit there and talk so much shit. Oh man, he fighting David Avenesian and 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 you know, um, 
He fighting David Albanese, and he fighting David Albanese, and he fighting David Albanese. I mean, Avocado. He messed up the he messed up the fight. He messed up the fight, and it wasn't gonna be no fight. We all know Errol Spence was going around, and Keith Thurman specifically was going around. What was he saying? He was going around saying that. He was going around saying that what? He was saying that, oh, me and Earl Spence was supposed to fight in February, but he had another car accident. And a lot of people felt that car accident was a sham. And it probably was a sham just to tell Al Heyman that, yo, look here, I'm not fighting him. I want to fight Terrence Crawford. And, you know, and that's probably what he wanted to do. And that's probably what he wanted to do. You know? But his his whole thing with with weight, I mean, I would wait, but with the weight could be a factor too. But his whole thing with, you know, his inactivity, that was they fought. He could have went on and, 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 and fought Keith Thurman. And then rolled into a Terrence Crawford fight. All you had to do was, you know, make sure Al Heyman had the Terrence Crawford fight in the in the schedule, you know, in the contract. That way you could say, you know what, when we fight Crawford after this, I wanted to get this fight out the way, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it was always going to be an excuse for Terrence Crawford going into this fight. Oh, uh, you know, Errol Spence has stayed at the way too long. That was going to be the first excuse. Oh, uh, Errol Spence, you know, car accident. Oh, the eye injury. Now it's the inactivity. They got about four really good excuses. And this before, you know, we see who look drained. This before we see who don't look as energetic come fight week. You know what I'm saying? You know, this, you know, this, you know, before... You know what I'm saying? This before, you know, we get an excuse for the referee allowing too much holding or, you know, you know, this before all of that. This before all of that. You know, and this is what they're going to do to to undercut Terrence Crawford. We knew it was going to be something from the beginning because a lot of times when these dudes make their mind up, they don't like somebody. And a lot of times these guys don't like somebody. They don't like this guy because he didn't give access. They wasn't able to monetize um they wasn't able to monetize him. And when somebody said, well, you know, he dissed town and with Fresno, Tom wasn't tripping about it. He said, he, you know, they, they patched it up. But, you know, then he wouldn't come on their show. I remember Regis wouldn't come on their show. And they said they wasn't supporting Regis Progress. And he represented Louisiana, Texas, the land of the trio. How about that? And just because he wouldn't get into, you know, an interview with you, y'all don't support him. I don't rock that way. It's been plenty of times, plenty of fighters then then finesse me on the interview, said we was gonna interview, didn't show up. You know what? I didn't hold a personal grudge against them. Real talk, I didn't hold I didn't hold a personal grudge against them. But to sit out there and, and to put that in the um in my opinion, to put that to put that out there like that, I think that was uh, cowardly, and that was because you know, 
they don't like Terrence Crawford. So it's no, it's not a lot of these dudes beating their chest neither. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of these dudes beating their chest saying that all oh, Terrence Crawford is 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 well Earl is gonna walk through Terrence Crawford. There's some people saying it, but they're not making it, you know, they're not saying it with the authority. They not saying it with the authority. They not saying it with the authority. They not saying it with the confidence. You know, they not saying it with the confidence. And that and that's the problem. These dudes is not saying it with their chest. And they already making excuses before we see what anybody looked like before the way in. And they were going to discredit Terrence Crawford. And this is why you got to watch who you listen to. Not saying you can't listen and you can't get jewels from certain people. I'm definitely not saying that. Even from those people, there's some truth being spoken and there's some wisdom in, in, in some of the things that they say. You know, I will say that. But at the end of the day, and there's some great content in there sometimes or, or some entertaining content, I must say, in there. I must say, but at the end of the day, there's an agenda to discredit Terrence Crawford. There's an agenda because Al Heyman won't let, you know, somebody in a fight. And it's your fault. Like, I understand, I understand with me taking the objective side and me putting a lot of pun and talking a lot of shit that they're not going to let me in the fights. And I'm cool with that. I, I can live with that reality, bro. I can really, because you know, I can live with it because this is just truly who I am. I'm a stand up guy. I went to the uh, Coney Island yesterday, bro, right? I went to the Coney Island yesterday, bro. Give me a grilled chicken salad. And somebody was like, oh, man, you that dude from YouTube on my Detroit channel. You know, you keep it you negative, but you keep it real, though. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if it ain't nothing nice to be said, I'm not going to find nothing nice to say. I'm going to tell it how it is. What did he say? What did he say on uh, that song with Biggie in Bit Buster Rhymes, Victory? He said, we tell it, you know, I, we tell it how it is. You tell it how it might be. That's just me, bro. I'm going to tell it how it is, and I'm going to put some, I'm going to put a, a comedy twist, a comedian twist to it. But they've already devalued Terrence Crawford. It is what it is. I mean, at this point, I feel like they should be telling us why Errol Spence going to run through him. But there's no other way Errol can win unless the inact can lose unless it's the inactivity. And, it, and like I said before, you wonder why, you know, if you show your face in certain places, Terrence Crawford and them going to beat your ass. And I will help him beat your ass. Because these niggas on YouTube do more harm than foul, and they don't even know how to reach that they got. But it is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Um, financially, want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor. Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Uh, let me know what you girls got. Stay in the comment section. Peace.